everybody, this is Blitzwing Benny. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome guys today to my Transformers. Finally, finally, I am reviewing my Transformers custom hatchet review. Um, so yeah, here he is. Um, I'm very proud of this custom. I hope it does not, I mean, I kind of half hope and I half hope it doesn't get be ma made re redundant. Because, um, I kind of want A, there to be a studio series version, and B, um, or number two, um, I, um, actually really like this custom, and, like, you know, I don't want something to replace it, because then it'd be, you know, useless, but it's still a really cool piece that I made, um, I made it out of Bionicles, and mostly Hero Factory, and some Bionicle parts, um, but... Yeah, I'm really proud of this custom I did. Um, it looks a lot like Hatchet, especially the face with the two teeth here. Yeah, um, the painted gray teeth and then like these mandibles on the side, which were kind of like horns, like tusk pieces on him in the movie. If you remember, he had like on the side of his face, but I kind of like these um, pinchers because I didn't want to put them on the sides, like paint them on. So I'd rather have it look more 3D. So I kept these pieces on here. Um, but he looks really good, so I used the Kalma head, I painted it black, and then I painted his dreads brown, which they are in the movie, or I might paint him re- I'll give, give you guys an update if I might paint him gray like they actually were in the movie, but they looked kind of brown. I mean, in the CGI thing, well, I mean, on concept art, they're gray, and then, like, a picture of the model, but in the movie, they were more brownish, like, the bronze color, like, that, um, not exactly gold, like, crankcase, but a little more brown. <clears throat> Well, crankcases were gold, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, crankcases, dreads were gold. Um, but, um, yeah, so there he is. And, yeah, he looks really cool. Um, I love all the details I did. And, like, look at, so I'm going to show you all the details. So there's, like, the spine, these two pieces on his neck to replicate, like, those, like, little um, spine pieces on his neck. And then, um, he's got the spines on his back, like the razor back things, like the spikes here. And then he's got like three rows of spikes on his back. So what I did is I took these two pieces from like a Venom minifigure and I put those there. And then I put these two spikes here, painted these, these were red and I painted those black to match, you know, like the spiky tail and then the end of the tails looks like ravage kind of. So I did this little piece. This kind of looks pretty accurate. He has like a tail. He has, really looks like ravage in terms of the body. Um, but then the head is different, um, and same with, like, you know, the legs and everything, but, like, the main torso looked kind of like Ravage, but, like, upscaled, like, bigger. Um, he actually does scale a Studio Series, so I'm really happy about that, um, but he's got only two wheels, I believe, were, like, visible, but they weren't, you couldn't really see him in the movie, but I think they were there. There, I have two tires on the back here, on his back legs. You can see he's got little feet, little claws there with articulated, um toes and then his front claws have five different points like he's got two mini claws that I put on the sides here and then the three big claws because he had like five claws in the movie so I tried to replicate that as best I could I gave him his little shoulder pads that he has in the movie like that armor um he's a big figure though he's like shorter but like he's really like thick and like long and I did this rib cage piece underneath here I did these two pieces to like you know, fill out the gaps in the side. So I put these pieces here and then I put this spine piece, like, you know, the rib cage detailing that the dreads kind of have. I put that underneath here. So he's got that. Um, I did not paint the underside of the head, but you know, cause you're not gonna really see that. But um, yeah, and then I had some weathering on the tails. You can see it's black and the same with the mandibles here. They're kind of blackish gray. Um, yeah, but they look really nice. And then I painted his eyes red, his optics, and he's got little teeth in there inside his mouth. And I painted this third eye black so it blends in. Um, but yeah, he looks really nice, honestly. Um, really happy. And I chose this head instead of uh, Elec. I have Elec as well, the other um, bear guy from Bionicle. Um, but I just used the Kalma head because it has like these little tendrils on the back. So 
it would replicate the dreads like as if he was running so like they're kind of flaying behind his head i might cut those off and glue them on the sides of the head because that's more movie accurate but i kind of like the wind effect like if you know like when wind's blowing through your hair it pushes your hair back right so it's kind of like that when he was running in the movie the dreads were like moving all over the place so i kind of like how that looks um but size comparison here he is next to another bionicle figure this is another custom i made a custom guardian knight it's still um, yeah, so I have him there with his little, um, halberd, his little, um, pike, his staff, um, yeah, like in the movie, um, that's what he looks next to them, you can have him standing there, you can have him riding him, like a warrior, which looks pretty cool, like, yeah, so there he is on top of him, um, hang on, I will get another comparison here he is and oh yeah here he is next to his finally his dread bot his dread mates <laughs> um, and one more figure as well here he is next to crankcase whoa sorry guys um, here he is next to Crankcase, or Crowbar, who I keep as my crowbar. Um, so yeah, very nice scale. He's like shorter than him, but like mass, more mass, like bigger. And here he is to complete the full shot. Um, uh, Berserker, I'm going to make a custom paint and do a Crankcase for him. But that's the dreads. Man, do they look great together. Um, and to take those guys out... Here we have Jazz. Here's Jazz. I'm gonna get him standing up straight. Here is Jazz next to him, and he looks really he looks really nice. So um, there 